G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. I just got done doing a video about Anthony McFarlane, how he's been uh, let go by the Steelers. It was a bit of a shock, so if you didn't see that one, that's okay. And if you've just seen this video right now, McFarlane has been released by the Steelers and they're going to go with uh, Goodwin, it would be UK, number 48, who does the kickoff returns for the Steelers. He's doing all right, by the way, too. I think he's he's returned the football, I think last week was a few 35-yard rushes or returns. Um, from, but, or, but also, too, you can't really in these day, in this day and age, you can't really return the football that well on the on the um, on the starting kick because the rules around it uh, don't allow you to. It's not the days like Devin Hester or you know things like that because they're so close now, they're so close to the um, the end zone. They pretty much kick the ball into the end zone or the the new rule you can fair catch and then move the ball to twenty five. Anyways, McFarlane has been let go by the Steelers, so he was the third down running back. We never saw him anyway. Um, the Steelers were going with Najee Harris and um, uh, Warren, uh, Joe and Warren. So the one-two punch. And the, the Steelers don't really use, they don't use the third down running back. But in any case, let's move on to some more notes and news and stuff like that and updates for the, uh, the Bengals game. So Alan Saunders reports here about four hours ago when I started to wake up. Steelers have ruled out quarterback Kenny Pickett out for Saturday's game against the Bengals. Mason Rudolph will start. Trubisky will be back up. Now, we saw this early in the week when Mike Tomlin talked about that, and it was uh, Rudolph's chance to be named starter for Week 16. However, there was some, some speculation or some rumors, or even when you looked at Twitter, you saw Kenny Pickett walking around. You saw him throwing the football. You're thinking... Can Kenny Pickett come back to play? But no, they're going to rest him. So they're going to rest uh, Kenny Pickett and go move forward with Mason Rudolph. I, for one, I'm a Mason Rudolph fan. I, I, I just, I, I think he deserves another shot. To be honest, give him the next three games. I don't care if we win the playoffs, we lose. We'll give him this game, the next game, until Kenny Pickett can go 100%. Give him a chance. We all know Trubisky sucks. Mitch Trubisky, probably a nice guy but he's a bad quarterback. At least Rudolph has a has a powerful arm. At least Rudolph has some connections with DJ. And we saw the passing, I believe it was to Austin, I think in the preseason. He doesn't mind throwing the ball deep. And I think he'll work his way into this game. But now still fans get to see what they can, um, what we have with Rudolph, right? We're almost like a refresher. He hasn't played football for two years, right? For two years. Also, in other news, guys, I've got two other points I want to bring up, and then we'll get out of here. Other news is Jamar Chase receiver is out for the Bengals. This tells me, Steeler Nation, that the Steelers have to zone in on that and put pressure on the other receivers. JPJ's got to step up. Peterson, I think he's playing safety. We have no safeties. I think Thompson's out. Mink is out. Kazi's out uh, because of the suspension. Uh, but also, too, Kazi, I found out as well, Kazi has now got that suspension. Um, downgraded, so it's only out for the season. So he, if if the Steelers do make the playoffs, playoffs, if they do make the playoffs, Kazi is allowed to play playoff football. So the whole team should be rallying around to get Kazi into the playoffs. That's what they should be doing, to, to, to send a message to the NFL and say, you know what, you want to ban me for this? Well, we made the playoffs. That's what they should be doing. Now, Jamal Chase has been ruled out. So this, for me, there is zero excuses. Steelers still players right now, you've lost three in a row. You've got to get the job done. It's run the ball, play action. I don't care. It's hitting someone someone legally hard and forcing a fumble or getting after the opposition. The Steelers, by, by having Jamar Chase out, you've got to play some good football and get a win and beat the Bengals. All I want for Christmas and for my birthday on the 20, 24th, your 23rd, is when I watch it live right up there, and I'm watching. I want to. I want to see him beat the Bengals, man. I can't handle the Bengals. I can't handle. I can't handle how. I guess their their fan base and how happy and ego ego driven they are. Around, we almost got to. We almost won a Super Bowl. They wrote a book called "We Rule Them All" because they won the AFC uh, Championship. Makes no sense. The Bengals are now 57 seasons in, and they've never won a Super Bowl. Think about that. So Jamar Chase out. Next one, though, is next one. I want to show you guys. There's been some uh, comments also from another receiver, Tyler Boyd. Okay. So Tyler Boyd had this. So, so Nick Farabar, another reporter over there, says Joey Porter Jr. on Tyler Boyd's comments that the pit locker or Pittsburgh Steelers locker room lacks camaraderie. 
basically, in a nutshell, he was saying that they aren't cohesive, they're not together, you know, that there's a bit of um, disjointedness. Now, he's not wrong, to be honest. What from, from the outside looking in, the Steelers do seem a bit off in communication. Uh, a lot of Steelers players are talking to the media about this, this, and this, and whatever's happening. So Tyler Boyd isn't wrong, but JPJ had this to say. He said he wouldn't know. He's not in our locker room. His opinion doesn't matter. I feel he got a misread on it. He's not in our locker room, so he doesn't know what's going on in the locker room. Now, JPJ said locker room three times. One, two, three. This is the point, though. If another, another player from another organization is calling you out and saying you haven't got the camaraderie, this is your point of call to step up and take him out of the game. This should be JPJ versus Tyler Boyd. It has to be. It has to be a game where you don't allow him to make those comments and then also walk into your house being Heinz Field. I still call it that. And you, you allow the Bengals to win the game. If he's saying this stuff, that he shouldn't be saying all these kind of words about how you lack these things in the preparation or the communication, in the, in the camaraderie, then back up your talk and take away Tyler Boyd. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, that was weird. Anyways, guys, uh, that's it. Rudolph is back. Okay, Rudolph is back. McFarlane's gone. Kazi suspension will only go to the end of the season. JPJ, back it up. And also a big chance to win this game. Jamar Chase is out. The Steelers have to do something they haven't done all year, is play four quarters of football and win the game for a Christmas miracle.